Welcome, animal enthusiasts. Prepare to embark on a fascinating journey through the world of animals with long necks. It's a unique feature, a characteristic possessed by only a select few among the animal kingdom. From the towering giraffes of the African savanna to the elegant swans of tranquil lakes, these creatures boast necks that are as intriguing as they are long. In this video, we'll be introducing you to 10 such animals, exploring the reasons behind their extraordinary length. Stay tuned to meet our long-necked friends. We begin with the giraffe, the tallest living terrestrial animal and the largest ruminant. Towering up to 20 feet, the giraffe's height is its most distinguishing feature. Their long, sturdy necks allow them to reach the leaves, fruits and flowers of tall trees, providing them with a diet inaccessible to other herbivores. This African native thrives in savannas, grasslands and open woodlands where food supply is abundant. The giraffe's long neck isn't just for show. It's a vital asset, enhancing its survival in the wild. Indeed, the giraffe's long neck is a key survival tool. Next, let's turn our attention to the swan, known for its grace and elegance. An icon of beauty, the swan's long neck is not just for show, it's a tool, a lifeline, a means to survive. Swans inhabit both freshwater and saltwater environments where they feed on a diet of aquatic plants and small fish. Their long necks serve a crucial role in this, allowing them to reach into the depths of water bodies, catching fish and plucking plant material from the bottom. A fascinating blend of elegance and practicality, the swan's long neck therefore is more than just a symbol of beauty. Moving on, we encounter the ostrich, the world's largest bird. This fascinating creature stands out, not just for its impressive size, but also for its speed. Believe it or not, an ostrich can sprint up to 43 miles per hour, its diet is as diverse as it is intriguing consisting of plants, seeds and even the occasional insect or small rodent. But what about that long neck? Well it's not just for show. That elongated neck offers a vital advantage allowing the ostrich to spot predators from a great distance. The ostrich's long neck thus plays a crucial role in its survival. Now let us introduce you to the okapi, a mysterious and elusive creature. This fascinating animal, often mistaken for a zebra due to its striped legs, dwells in the dense rainforests of Central Africa. The okapi's diet consists mainly of leaves, buds and branches, which its long neck and prehensile tongue readily access. This impressive reach allows the okapi to feed on a variety of foliage that other animals can't, making its long neck a key adaptation for survival. The okapi's long neck hence is a vital part of its feeding mechanism. Next we have flamingos. Flamingos are pink-colored wading birds that live in Florida, Mexico and the Caribbean in rivers, ponds, lakes and salt marshes. Flamingos are social birds that typically live in large groups of a few hundred individuals. Flamingos, distinguished by their long legs and S-shaped necks, use their physical characteristics to feed on shrimp, algae, crustaceans, and other bottom-feeding meals. Furthermore, flamingo necks are extremely flexible. They can even bend backward to groom themselves. Flamingos can fly at speeds of up to 40 miles per hour due to their light body weight. We now have the Jabiru. The Jabiru is a wading bird with a long neck and legs found in Argentina and Mexico. The name Jabiru means swollen neck in the Tupi Guarani language. These birds can be identified by their white plumage and black and red necks. They are among the largest flying birds in North America. Jabirus are social birds that live near ponds and rivers, primarily feeding on fish and amphibians. They are opportunistic feeders who hunt using tactile sensation rather than vision. Despite their size, Jabiris are thought to be graceful flyers. Heading to South America we found the alpacas, mammals that are frequently confused with the llamas. Llamas on the other hand are significantly larger than alpacas. Alpacas are grass-eating animals that consume 1.5 of their body weight per day. These woolly creatures on the other hand, adore munching on tree leaves. They can reach leaves on the tops of branches due to their long necks. Furthermore, because alpacas are vulnerable to various carnivore predators, their long necks serve an additional purpose. They aid in spotting enemies before they approach. Alpacas communicate through body language, the most common of which is spitting. Into the desert to find the Arabian camel, also known as the dromedary, is the tallest camel species standing 6.3 feet tall on average. The Middle East and North Africa are home to dromedary camels. These camels are distinguished by their long, curved necks, one hump, and throat hairs. Camels, also known as ships of the desert, have a high tolerance to heat and incredible endurance. Camels are ground feeders that have naturally evolved into long-necked animals due to their long legs. 
This is particularly true for Arabian camels which have the longest legs of any camel species. As a result if they had short necks, they would be unable to feed on ground plants. Back to South America to see llamas, a type of livestock indigenous to Colombia, Bolivia, Argentina, and Peru. They are very social animals that are frequently found in groups with other animal herds. Llamas are grazers that can survive by eating a wide variety of plants while consuming very little water. Long necks come in handy due to their feeding habits. If they had short necks they would have to kneel, just like their camel relatives. Furthermore when llamas fight they use their strong necks. The fights are quite exciting, kicking, ramming and spitting are common in addition to neck wrestling. Llamas are thought to be intelligent creatures that are simple to train. Into the sky to meet herons, a coastal birds that can be found in both North and South America, as well as the Caribbean and the Galapagos Islands. Herons are medium-sized birds that live in slow-moving freshwaters and are distinguished by their long necks and long legs. Herons, unlike most birds with long necks, retract their necks during flight. Their necks are made up of 22 cervical vertebrae, which allows them to bend their necks in a S shape while flying or hunting prey. The herons are carnivorous birds and their diet mostly consists of aquatic prey, including fish, reptiles, aquatic insects, and amphibians. Herons were thought to be divine messengers in ancient Greece. As we conclude our journey we reflect on these amazing animals with long necks. Each of these creatures, though vastly different, share a common trait, their long necks. These unusual features are not just for show but crucial survival tools, aiding in everything from foraging to predator detection. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Remember, in the animal kingdom, every feature has a purpose.